Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 3 Take, where we talk all things Major League Baseball. Here's Kyle Corwin and Nate Reyes. It all starts right now. Ooh, welcome back to the 3 Take, presented by SeatGeek. This is episode 367. I'll be your host, Kyle Corwin. I'm here with my co-host, Nate Reyes. Nate. What up, what up? Papa Kyle. My fellow Americans and all the other beautiful people of the world. Obviously, there's people listening all over the world, so we gotta address uh, those guys too. Back when I actually paid attention to the the numbers, like the the downloads yeah. and insights and all that stuff, there was like did actually, we have like a weird little uptick in like australia or something yeah it was australia and then there was like one other country that was just really let's go i like that where is it here let's see audience geographic location so 90 percent listened from the united states canada is four australia is three okay and then everything else is less than one percent but i mean safe to assume that a lot of these are bots like at the very bottom of the list, like a couple of yeah. these are just like random yeah. bots that sneak through from time to time. But if not, we got a listener out in Bangladesh. Okay, let's go. Mol- Moldova. I don't even know where that is. Big, Belarus. Big baseball city in Mol- Moldova. Uh, city. No, I think it's a country. I think all these are countries. Oh. Uzbekistan. Big, big baseball country out there in what Uzbekistan. What is it? Uzbekistan. That doesn't sound real. Well, it's definitely a real place. Definitely a real place because it's on our uh, geographic data right you remember now. In, you remember in Friends where Chandler's like trying to get away from Janice and, he, and he's like, I'm moving to Yemen. And he tells Joey and Joey's like, <laughs> sounds like a real country. Nice. <laughs> That's kind of what I'm thinking. Oh man, for Uzbekistan. No, this is real. This is real. Stupid. Yo, we got people listening out in the Cayman Islands. Let's go. Probably Saint on Lucia. vacation. Love it. Love it. Shout uh, out my Aussies though. That's big time. I like that. They love their baseball out there. I man. do apologize to Canadian listeners though, because I, I kind of go in on you guys sometimes. You you bug me a little bit, so I'm sure we bug you. That's how we do it. It's a, it's a nice little it's, rivalry. It's very it's a tame rivalry, rivalry, but I think at the end of the day, it's it's a there's a mutual respect there. Yeah, yeah, for sure. At the end of the day, yeah, just um, relax on voting your Blue Jays into the All Star game. Please. Yeah, yeah, like if that if if that trend continues in years to come, it'll become yeah. more than just a little friendly rivalry. We'll have serious issues if this continues. Choice words. Um, big weekend of baseball. A lot of these series that we're about to dive into, uh, just it didn't make sense. A lot of the outcomes just didn't make sense. I yeah, I don't get it. Uh, a lot of dogs but, winning. If you're a betting man, a lot of dogs. Yeah, and if you're not a betting man and you just go by normal lingo a lot of dumpster fires of organizations won right their series this weekend right 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 uh before we do that let's get into some voicemails i don't know which order i have these in so i'm just gonna go with the first one i got here fellas aj torres now i'm a proud and suffering yankee fan this year but i'm here to specifically talk about the mets specifically the fan base and really I'm sorry, but some of them are just straight up the slime that you find out of the gutters. You know what, Mets fans? My captain is hurt, and we're trying to stay above 500 right now. And you could blame the Dodgers that can't build a proper ballpark. But you know what? Yeah, I don't have a captain right now, which you don't either. But the guy that you want to be captain is a frat boy that only cares about the home run derby. On top of that, Breach. you have the nerve to talk trash about your owner. I'm sorry. I'd rather have Steve Cohen. You want to know what Hal does? He says something stupid every four to five months after he does one thing good to piss everybody off for the majority of the year. <laughs> That's what he does. 
Every third of the year he'll say something, and occasionally he'll make a good decision. We get on his good side, but then we hate him for months at a time. It's just how it goes. And I'm sorry. Some of you are talking like you want the Wilpons back. I'm sorry. Still crying, bitching, and moaning about Bernie Madoff. Hey, you know what? You might be in the same bed as Jeff Fisher for crying out loud. Hey, maybe while you're at it, maybe you could, uh, you know, move out to California, too. Why not? You act like Steve Cohen's a used car salesman. Go shit in your hat. I'm sorry, <laughs> but I can't do it anymore. For those Mets fans that have been there, I, I apologize. For the ones that have only been fans for, like, five years, you're absolute garbage. Be better. Maybe you should do something with your life. Take it easy, <laughs> fellas. <laughs> Just completely tears down an entire city and then ends it with, hey, take it easy, fellas. I love that, oh, man. What a go. That's just, so crazy. Just burns a fan base <laughs> at the stake. Hey, take it easy, fellas. Love that. Woke no, he's, abs he's, abs he's absolutely right. He's absolutely right. feeling it. I he's like absolutely it. right. He he yeah. put into he put into words essentially what I have felt about Mets fans for a number of years now, and just the team itself. He makes a great point about the the captain, yeah, discussion there. Like very valid point. Very. I valid think point. if we were to look up, you know, how we just looked up geographical listeners. I wonder if we looked up team represented. You know, I think the Mets would be our lowest percentage <laughs> for sure. Uh, well, I mean, if if Mets fans were smart, self induced. If Mets fans were smart, they would they would tap into what we're, we're talking about here. Like, yeah, yeah, it's not all sunshine and rainbows here when it comes to us talking about the Mets, but at least we keep it relatively real. Like, your team is full of a bunch of cornballs led yeah. by Captain Cornball yeah. Peter Alonso. You guys can never get out of your get out of your own way. You always lose when it matters most. It, sorry, we're just we've, here reporting facts. We've, None of this is we've, opinion. And he makes a he makes a great point about Steve Cohen too. Like, I don't know why people are coming after Steve Cohen. People were praising Steve Cohen, right? When he takes over and starts dropping bags left and right, were and you now able it's to like, catch, well, uh, were you able to catch any of that presser? A little bit, yeah. yeah. I mean, he. Mets fans may have a different opinion on it than I do, but I mean he he didn't necessarily dodge anything. Like the fact that he he ar had this arranged mm -hmm. and addressed some of the more pressing questions that I'm sure Mets fans have. Yeah, I mean, tip my cap to him. I mean, there not a lot of owners are stepping in front of the mic in the true. in the dog days. It's very true. My only gripe is that we need to find this man. Um, a normal fitting hat. I don't Agreed. know why yes. every time he puts a Met hat on, it looks like it's he just took the sticker off. And I don't know what that attempt was of forming that bill, but it looks like someone just sat on it and then gave it to him. Um, I think somebody said somebody said he got the Kodai Senga hat. <laughs> yeah. like, they said it, not me. Uh, yeah. No. Uh, look, I mean, like, what what more do you want? I, he ended the presser with like it's on the players. He's not wrong. It's on the players. Like at some point, this roster that anybody would dream of having has to show up and do it. So, yeah, good for AJ. Baseball thanks for, fan. Thanks for pouring it on. I love that. Yeah, getting us started on this fine Monday. Um, baseball fans can suck at times. Like, and that, that includes all of us. We just oh, have to look yeah. in the mirror and acknowledge that we can suck at times. Oh yeah. And what I mean, what I'm specifically referring to here is that you hear fans all the time complain about, well, sell the team, the owner's not invested, the owner doesn't care, the owner doesn't want to spend the big bucks. Mm -hmm. And then you get a guy like Steve Cohen comes in, does that. Or you look at a guy like AJ Preller, who's at the helm with the Padres. Similar scenarios, big right. con I mean you could talk about the the validity of some of the contracts that were handed out, but in terms of the, in terms of spending the money, which is what so many fan bases out there just want, they don't even care who it's on. They're just like spend the money. Like we have yeah. the money, spend yeah. it a little bit instead of lying in your pockets. You got guys like this that go out and do it, 
And then when it when the the players don't follow through, what is Steve Cohen gonna do? Right. Is he gonna go out there and give you eight shut on the mound? Is he gonna, gonna go out there and go three AB. for four with two bombs? I'm gonna need to see a live A B from Steve Cohen. I, I don't understand. People baseball fans, again, I'll include both of us at times. We can yeah. we can get in our own way, but like understand what you're complaining about and what's worth complaining about. Steve Cohen is not something to complain about. He went out and got guys that at the start of the season and go back to the start of last season too, got guys that you were excited about. It's not on him that they don't perform. That's not on him. He's there to, to agree to sign the checks and that's what he's doing. So don't get upset with him when captain cornball over here. Oh, he's not a great example. He's, he's having a rather, good year at the plate but you get what i'm saying like mm-hmm. the the product that's out there when they don't go out and perform mm-hmm. don't then turn your anger to steve cohen it doesn't make any sense does not anyway voicemail number two hello this is josh from toledo ohio checking in a couple of things to say meet the red they legit commit don't wait until july 10th commit now you know what to do second Fire Alley Marmel. What the heck are we doing here, Cardinals? Third, White Sox burn it down, baby. And fourth, Gip Schumacher, NL Manager of the Year. That is all. Have a good one. Excellent. 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 Let's go, Marlins. Yeah. So many great points made. Although I don't I still don't agree with the burn it down Chicago mindset. No. Don't agree with that. Uh I know I've mentioned before that I read, uh, I get like email notifications when Mm -hmm. we get like a barrage of comments on our YouTube videos. And I'm still to this day getting comments on the Ali Marmel video from like what months ago at this point. Probably, yeah. And when I first got, when I first posted that video, the comments that were, that I were getting, my assumption, cause I don't, I don't read the ones on that video because I, I just don't want to hear it from Cardinals fans. Yeah. When I first posted that video, my assumption was that it was Cardinals fans being like, you don't know what you're talking about. Like, oh, this will work out. Like, our, uh, Ollie just needs some time. The comments that I'm getting now that I'm also still not reading, <laughs> my guess is that it's Cardinals fans coming on there and being like, yeah, we should have fired this guy like yeah. two months ago. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know what yeah. they're waiting for. I really don't know what they're waiting for. Me neither. And I can't have one more week to decide on the Reds. That seems that seems unfair. He said he said commit. One more Gotta week. Got to commit. Got to commit. Uh third voicemail. Hello to the gentleman of the 30 take. Uh Jacob from Pennsylvania calling in. Got a couple questions, some thoughts. Um All-Star game. One particular in person who really is bothering me right now as an individual being Emmanuel Claus. I'm very, very confused as to how and why he is an all-star when I think there are a lot better closers out there in general right now, um, especially for what feels like the amount of blown saves I think he has. Maybe I think he is more than what he really does. Uh, But he at least has five losses, which I feel that could have been five more saves depending on where we were at in those games. So I just don't think Emmanuel Claus is an all-star by any means. Uh, I know we were bashing on the AL outfield uh, last episode, but Emmanuel Claus is not even close to worthy to being an all-star this year, and I'm very disappointed in this. Um, My next thought was um, that of the mascot, Kyle. Is his name really rookie? Um, I like it. I like it. Just trying to figure out um, when we're going to get to meet him. All right. Talk to you guys soon. Well, we'll just chalk up the uh, the Pennsylvania accent. To, to, uh, he's talking about Class A, manual Class A. Um, Not Santa. <laughs> in uh, in Cleveland, obviously. Um, I mean, we can we could talk about that, or we could just you know we could talk about rookie. 
Well, I want to address the. Can you can you pull up the save numbers real quick? And I've got I'll, everything I'll, right here. Yeah. Um, does he? He's at. He's near or at the top? No. He's he's tied at uh, with the lead Jordan Romano in most saves with uh, Duvall over in San Fran, and then Jordan Romano with uh, Toronto at twenty four. But he is twenty four of thirty. So um, you know, struggling there. He does have a three four zero ERA, which is ranking really high amongst closers 15 earned runs in in 39 innings pitched um, i think you mean ranking like low on the list right right is what yeah you're of course yep. like yeah, yeah. yeah um yeah you know it's it's only 36 strikeouts in 39 innings you look at the other guys he's tied with i mean Duvall has 53 in 38 innings um and then jordan mono is 42 in 34 innings so not a ton going on power wise that we're used to with class a i didn't really look into like you know numbers as far as his his like fan graphs ratings are going but yeah i mean he's one in five on the year it's it's rough it is rough i do agree i think Duvall should be in there he's got a 189 era if you're gonna go yeah, with the Duvall's same having a heck of a year yeah same same amount of saves one less inning 17 more strikeouts like what are we doing this doesn't make any sense any of these other names wait you're telling me that an irrational i guess we need to look at al i brought up duvall i would say romano over class a yeah for the all-star game specifically wait you're telling me an irrational pick was made for the all-star <laughs> game <laughs> crazy that's yeah that's never happened before how is it that Canada's popping off with all Blue Jays voting, and they can't get. But they can't. Get, they can't get their one. Figured out. Their one guy that does belong. As Figure a it out. Weird. Felix Batista is in that argument too. Um, you know, twenty-two saves, one-one-six ERA, seventy-nine strikeouts. By the way, so more than double what Class A has. I don't yeah, get figure, it either. Figure it out. Um, before we get into these, uh, weekend, uh, series, you're just not going to address rookie. I'm just going to leave him out of it. I was literally about to say that I was <laughs> going to say before we get into the weekend series news and notes, um, I was just going to talk about rookie. Yes. His name is rookie. Uh, his unofficial full name is rookie Bojangles Corwin. His, his first, uh, pit stop under our ownership was at Bojangles. We met we met my uh uh brother and sister in law um at Bojangles, got got some lunch, picked him up. Did you sneak him anything? No, I didn't sneak him anything. Oh. A Bojangles a Bojangles Supreme, chicken supreme would wreck him. Just a little little bite? No, it would it would a little piece of a fresh. It would do a number on him. Uh, but yeah, his name is Rookie, the official mascot. I'll have to get a. I've got like a. It's around here somewhere. I've got like a little, little flat, little promotional flag with our logo on it. Maybe I'll, I, I might have to get a pick with him, like a little bandana, yes. action going on. Uh, but yeah, he's official mascot. You should um, get a shirt made. I should. One of those. One of those. What a great up. idea. Short. But yeah, sentence. man, he's. He's awesome. He was he was super um super tentative yesterday. He was just kind of feeling us out, getting to getting to know the lay of the land a little bit when we brought him home. But he was he was uh clamoring for his food at four thirty this morning. So we uh brought him down and sure, sure, sure. fed him and played around with him a little bit and uh he's he's breaking out of his shell, so all all things good on that front. I'm tired just listening to that. Yeah, we got to take him out every two hours until he's potty trained. Every two hours at night. How long does that take? Uh, the breeder said we could probably get it done in a couple weeks. So it'll it'll be a grind. So you're just gonna have like three hours of sleep each night. Just for the shifts, next couple essentially. Weeks. Yeah, oh. it's, it's gonna suck. Boy, going to suck. Uh, Luck. Let's talk about these weekend series. 
talking about things that don't make sense right off the top Cardinals over the Yankees yeah what you ca- uh, care to comment not really this is this is me putting the metaphorical microphone in front of your face would you care to comment Jordan Montgomery just revenge game shoving I'm, it down their throats when will the Yankees learn to stop letting arms go uh, because yeah, I know I get it but like Bader's also been studly for sure for us, so sure but the Yankees are especially victims in the pitching department when it comes to guys coming yeah. back or facing them on it's the true. road what have you and just shoving it very very true yeah I want, I want you to roll it up real tight um Aaron Boone is ejected for the fifth time this season on Sunday and the Yankees are now 11 and 13 since Judge hit the shelf. Yeah. Just tread water. That's all he can do. Tread water. Bodon coming back on Wednesday. Hopefully Nestor after that. Hopefully oh, Judge is, after that. Is Rodon feeling better now? Does he is he I have no idea what is, it was wrong with him, but he was dicing in his rehab starts, so we'll see. Uh, Help the fantasy squad out too. That was an uncalled for stray on Rodon. I just need something to kind of get the the Yankee hate flowing again. That's fair. Here, here's one. There's an argument out there that he should not be growing this cool of a mustache before even, you know, donning the pinstripes yet. I feel like you have to, you have to earn that mustache a little bit before you're just, you know what I mean? I think you got to go baby face. No, I disagree. I think earn it. I disagree. I think with that rule, you have to do everything within your power to combat that rule and give yourself some sort of like you have to if if you had Mojo. facial hair, if you had facial hair before, you come to New York mm-hmm. and then they just essentially tell you to just remove it all. You have to do something to get back to your old self. Hey, that's so fine. Just if, not right away. Show me something first. Show me something first. I guess. Show me something. I don't know if I agree. He might show us something, though. I'm hoping. But pitching isn't the issue. This team just forgets how to hit for like a week at a time. So, uh, Twins over the Orioles. Orioles snap a four-game skid in the series finale and avoid the sweep with an eight- inning rally uh but they scored three runs overall in the series so that's Mm. fun uh nationals over the phillies phillies put up 19 on saturday i think that also i think that included a schwarber grand slam clearly doesn't care that the calendar changed to july um nationals take the rubber match on sunday and jamer callen candelario continues to shine soft jay that's weird because I listened to a broadcast and they called him Jamer. Really? Yeah. I've never heard that. I've only heard Jaimer. I would assume it's a soft J. Jose. I mean, it probably is, but I yeah. I, I defaulted I to what they went with on the broadcast because I'm like, they probably know better Jay than Mare I sounds, would. Jaimer sounds uncomfortable, but there do are, you, Candelario. They're a crazy Trade candidate, today. by the way. I do think he's 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 kind of my sneaky name. He's got some. He's had a pretty decent year. He's got some sneaky pop. He's had a great um, year. Yeah. So I I think he's he's gonna go somewhere, and I think he's gonna be one of those like underrated trades that really boost a lineup. I could see him. I know I use this example all the time, but it's just a great example. But I could see him filling like a Eddie Rosario type role mm-hmm. for the Braves back in twenty one. If he's he can, primarily at third, right? Off. Yeah. No, I didn't mean like positionally. I just sure. meant like in terms of what like he that. what yeah. he can offer. Uh, oh, to stretch. any team, not just the Braves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah just yeah, like yeah. Okay. if he does get shipped off or whatever. Yeah. Um. But and I if we have time, we'll get into it. But All Star Game snub, possibly, possibly in in the conversation. 
Uh, talking about the Braves. Braves sweep the Marlins. Braves get their 16th win in 17 games, have won 23 of 26, and have won, correct me if I'm wrong, eight straight. Goodness. I know you want to go in a little deeper on the Braves, so I'll save it. Let's uh, let's keep it moving. Brewers over the Pirates. Milwaukee wins 7 of 10 on its road trip and remains tied with Cincy for the National League Central lead. Uh, Red Sox sweep the Blue Jays. Alex Verdugo returns his clutch ways on Sunday with a tie-breaking homer in the ninth as the Red Sox record their fourth sweep of the season. I hate the Blue Jays so much. I can't, I can't explain to you like what's happened in in how I view the Blue Jays. It's there's been such a shift. I used I used to just not really care, but yeah. it's really just these last couple of years. I'm like yeah. I. I don't I don't really care for this team. It's like their mentality and like they're they just chirp for no reason. Yeah, I they're not good well, enough to complain and chirp all the time. Yeah, it like just shut your mouth and just play baseball. That's that's it for me. Uh Reds over the Padres. Padres continue to suck. They've lost 10 of their 13. Andrew Abbott for the Reds, however, has not sucked. He's got a one two one ERA through six career starts, and the Reds are 6-0 in those games. Uh, oh, cool. Reds have won seven of their last eight series. So uh, committing, not committing? Look, 45 and 39, they're tied committing? with the Brewers. Committing I can't commit or not to the committing. Brewers. Well, for obvious reasons. We've we've talked about that, but the I'll Reds are not the Brewers. the Brewers. Reds are not the Brewers. They may be atop the central together, but they're not the Brewers. She can't do it yet. They're still negative twenty in run differential. I can't. Yeah, do but it how? Yet. But how much of what you're seeing on the standings page was a culmination of, the of their performance pre Ellie De La Cruz, pre Votto return, pre spike in overall hype I think you need to commit but hey I'll we we agreed on a date so I'm not going to pressure I want you into to. it I want to it's not there yet all right well that better not be the sentiment when it comes time to actually actually uh commit or not commit we're gonna have to make a a, a hard decision at that point uh, Royals over the Dodgers. Dodgers put up nine runs in game one. Royals put up nine in game three. Uh, but they take games two and three to take the overall series. Royals have not hit a home run in their last seven games. That's Yikes. that's worth noting. That's that's one of those series that didn't make sense over the weekend. But that's baseball. Kind of is, huh? That's baseball. Uh, Astros and the Rangers will finish up their series today. The Astros are up two, uh, two games to one in, in this four gamer, uh, Tigers over the Rockies, Javier Baez and Jake Marisnik both hit grand slams as the Tigers score 14 runs on Sunday and take the rubber match D backs over the angels trout. Get this trout and Otani both Homer in the same game and actually win the game. Wow. I nope. feel like. I want to know that record overall. I need to know it. There's a way to look that I up. need to know that. They didn't get Tungsten Armo doiled on Sunday, which I know Angels fans are rejoicing, rejoicing but they dropped the series to the D-backs. Uh, A's over the White Sox. White Sox avoid a sweep on Sunday with an 8-7 win. A's almost came back and swept them. They put up two in the eighth and in the ninth uh, and lost by, I think it was 8-7. to seven. Yeah, 8-7. to seven. White Sox. I I can't keep coming to your defense like this. Burn if you're, it down. If you're on the verge of getting swept by the A's, like I can I can excuse some of these other series losses, but the A's, come on, man, you're better than the A's. You're better than this. I'm better than this. Nope. That's a Dwight True reference. Mariners <laughs> over the Rays. Mariners take two of three from America from. From America's best. No, not America's best. The AL's best. Rays now no longer have 
the best record in baseball by win percentage, correct? I believe they have 57. 57. But they're out of 655 win percentage. Braves are at 675. Yeah. Uh, Guardians over the Cubs. Guardians blow a four-run lead in the ninth, but rallied to win the rubber match on Sunday. Mets over the Giants. Get this. The Mets suck. The Mets win a series for the first time since sweeping the Phillies back uh, May 30th through June 1st, that series. In a That's month? The they haven't won a series in a month? Have not won a series. Until that. Since that series, they're 8-19. and 19. Goodness. Since the uh, since the throw it again, throw it again. Yeah, when when was that series in relation to that last series they won? When did that happen? Um, let's see. I think that was like the first week of June. Throw it again. Uh, so that'd been the Braves. That would have been, oh, so that was June 6th, 7th, and 8th. Mm. Yeah. So they won the series versus the, versus the Phillies. They got swept by the Blue Jays. And then that series versus the Braves happened and have just been absolute dog water since. I like it. Can't say I'm surprised. Can't say I'm not happy about it. Back in the division. Throw it again. (laughs) Throw it again. (laughs) Uh, Shut up, Peter. Let's look at the standings here real quick. Running through that. As we mentioned, Tampa Bay at the top of the East, but no longer MLB's best by win percentage. Uh, But they are at the top at the East with 57 and 30. O's in second at 49 and 33. Yankees in third, 46 and 38. Blue Jays, 45 and 40. And Boston at the bottom. A game over 500 at 43 and 42. For now. For now. American League Central. Twins at the top. With a losing record. How about that? Abolish the, the Central. The Central is so bad. 42 and 43 is enough to get it done. Kids, if you want to grow up and play professional baseball, (laughs) pray that you get drafted by a team that plays in the American League Central because you will have to do the bare minimum as a professional athlete. (laughs) So best of luck to you. Uh, Guardians in second at 41 and 42. The Tigers at 37 and 46. The White Sox at 37 and 49. And... The Royals, the lowly Royals, fighting it out with the A's for worst record in baseball, 25 and 59. American League West, Rangers at the top at 50 and 34, Houston at 46 and 38, Angels at 45 and 41, Mariners in fourth at 40 and 42, and the A's at 23 and 63. National League East. Uh, again, baseball's best by winning percentage. The Atlanta Braves are at the top in the East at 56 and 27. The Marlins, the mighty Marlins at 48 and 37 and second. The Phillies at 44 and 39. Mets at 38 and 46. The Nationals at 34 and 49 at the bottom. In the Central, a little bit better than the American League Central. Slightly. But, but not a lot. The as we mentioned, the Reds and the Brewers at the top at 45 and 39, Pirates in third, 39 and 44, the Cubs at 38 and 44, and the Cardinals at 35 and 48. But hey, bad they won yesterday, they sure and you know what did. they say in Major League you win two, called a win streak. That's a winning streak. The D backs in the National League West still holding strong at the top at 50 and 35. The Dodgers in second at 46 and 37. Giants at 46 and 38. Padres at 38 and 46. Continue to slide. They're three and seven in the last 10. And the Rockies in last at 33 and 53. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm. With 
Mm. Might I add an, a run differential of negative 142. It's big time. But that pales in comparison to the Oakland A's, who are at negative 237. Need that. Need it bad. So that's your standings. Let's uh, let's talk about the Braves. I know you wanted to get into the Braves a little bit, but actually, no. Before we do that, Nate, you want to remind the folks about what's at stake here until July seventh. Manscaped, D. Manscaped. Look, it's hot out. Some of us are pretty hairy. Sometimes you need to get rid of that hair to be less hot. If you're getting rid of it in any other way outside of Manscaped, I can't trust you. As a person, as a friend, I don't I don't trust you if you're not using Manscaped. So what's the problem? And look, you mentioned some of us being hairy. Some some people aren't, but they still get hot and they sweat. Manscaped has a solution True. for that as well. If you have no hair, sometimes it makes you more sweaty if you have no hair. And it makes you stink. And nobody mm. wants to be around you if you stink, especially when it's 95 plus outside this summer. So Very true. We've got we've got fixes for that. Yes. And not to mention, you get sweaty and stinky in places that we don't really want to talk about on air. But Balls. I, think you, I think you know what we're talking about. Balls. We're not... Uh, we're not about that life. Your balls get stinky, sweaty, moist, damp, mildewy, if you will. I don't know about that, but... Musty. You might want to get that checked out, man. A oh, little mildew? <laughs> oh, mildew. I don't know if that's... Let those puppies you, breathe a little bit, You put a little man. bleach down there? <laughs> I, I don't know what, what the fix is for that. You got to scrub hard. Uh, yeah, Minscaped. Um, look. It's pretty simple. You follow us. You know us. It's our promo code. It's for us. It's to get us to that next level. The next level where we really just do our thing with Manscaped. Use our promo code 3 take It's our social handle. T-H-R-E-E-O-H-T-A-K-E. 3 take 20% off and free shipping. Don't have to worry about that. And it's literally anything. Anything you want. Your ball smell. Get some cream. We call it ball deodorant or crop preserver, if you will. Real unique. Um, today, I was getting dressed, brushing my teeth, getting ready for the morning. Feel a little tickle on my neck. Of course, girlfriend hair. Had to remove that. Get rid, get rid of that. And then I was like, there's now a tickle in my ear. Is there another hair there? No, it's my hairs. Two little sprouts coming out of my right ear that were tickling making some noises so so old man what do you do you grab that weed whacker get rid of that while i'm at it get rid of the nose it's how it works it's what you're supposed to do no tickle no whistle in my ear anymore i'm all set so to repeat, that's our social handle promo code. That's 30take, T-H-R-E-E-O-H-T-A-K-E. Take 20% off plus free shipping. And as I mentioned, as I've been mentioning, we're on that trial period with Manscaped and we have until July 7th to make some noise. Friday. And yes, this Friday. And so anything you can do to help us out to uh, kind of lock that in would be greatly appreciated. And just a reminder... Got a little contest running. If you want to have a little video chat with Nate and myself, yee yee. send us a screenshot of your order using that promo code, uh, and you will be entered into that little contest. Obviously, you have to do it before July 7th, and we'll be announcing the winner on Monday, July 10th. All right, let's talk Braves. Braves. You got Bravos. Some, Atlanta you got some, ATL. You got some info on the Braves for us. Please, please do share. I want to get a little deep dive into some numbers here from my nerds. I know we got some nerds on here. I'm starting to turn into a nerd since I found fan graphs and figured out how to navigate it. It's quite nice. Nate's turned into that guy, like that guy that does CrossFit 
or the girl that does CrossFit. Just tells everybody just, about it. They just won't stop talking about it. Well, I can promise you I won't be doing CrossFit, but I will this tell everyone Nate with about Fangrass. Fangrass. Yeah. 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 Actually, don't go look it up because then you won't need us anymore. You still need us. You want and need us. That's ominous. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, on the hitting side, look, we all know that this team is is stacked. Um, K rate is is uh, really solid. It's it's the sixth fewest strikeouts in baseball. Um, they have a walk percentage of eight point eight percent overall as a team. Uh, they lead the league, and I mean league as in all of baseball with home runs at 158. That's 27 more than the Tampa Bay Rays who are in second place. Um, they are top 10 in stolen bases, hits, on base percentage, average, runs, RBIs, the best slugging percentage by 35 points. So obviously, they're just bludgeoning teams offensively. Wait, you said best in baseball by 35 points? Yeah, slugging percentage. Wow. That's nuts, huh? That's a big that's, gap. That's quite a spread. Yeah, that's a big gap. On the pitching side of things, um, you know, I, I would say they're solid. The rotation's solid, especially for not having Freed. They're still up there. Third best ERA at a 366. They've only given up 84 home runs. Uh, top of that list is the Cubs at 80. Middle of the road with walks. Um, there are They are top five in strikeouts and batting average against ranks in the top 10. What I found is the issue, <clears throat> and I'm sure Braves fans will agree, is it's the bullpen, specifically the back end. Um, you know, they traded for Iglesias and... I'm not really seeing much out of that. Where they signed, I don't remember. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think Sign he's he's dialed it up a little as of late. I can't really tell overall with the numbers. I could look into the game log a little bit. Um, but I mean a four one eight ERA, fourteen saves. He's given up four home runs in twenty three innings. Um the biggest issue though is is the home run fly ball percentage so it's the percentage of fly balls that are turning into home runs it's at an 18 percent definitely the highest in the bullpen for the braves batting average against is a 247 definitely the highest in the bullpen so can i just add a note real quick on iglesias yeah is he turning around lately according to espn has tied for the fifth most saves in major league baseball since being activated from the injured list on may 5th so Dialing up a now, here's bit. the other thing is that like some of those numbers, look, we all know that a save has to qualify. And with what the Braves are doing to teams, technically not a ton of save opportunities. So you could argue Correct. that as well. Um, but either way, it's just it seems like they're they're getting touched up a little bit. The other which name is, I pulled, which is a valid point to bring up when you like for sure. I'm not throwing shade at Jacob, but like just the overall conversation surrounding closers, relievers. A lot of times these guys have to get put into non-safe situations right. or if they're not a closer and they're maybe just like a high leverage guy that typically would come in yeah. one run game, maybe in the eighth. But if you're not in those opportunities, as long they're as not as in those do. opportunities and they haven't gotten work over the last week. Sometimes you got to put in a you got to be put in a situation where yeah, like a loss is almost inevitable because the, right. like the stars just aren't aligning. And that's just. I think something that a lot of people forget myself included at times. Yeah. 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 AJ Minter, same story, you know, five, one, seven ERA. He's, it seems like he was splitting time a little bit while Iglesias was down uh, to get those saves. I mean, two thirty six batting average against, um, which, you know, when, when you, when you hear that number, you're like, Oh, that's not that great of a batting average. But when you're looking at a lot of these names, you know, that's not, that's not very good. Um, so I decided, all right, like what names could maybe add to the Braves? They need nothing offensively. I think we can all agree there. I think they're pretty much set. Um, Rotation-wise, I don't see anything more than maybe adding like a fourth or fifth starter. So I went to the back end, pulled up some names. Let me know what you think about this. 
Nate the GM. Put my GM hat on. Um, Alex Lang or Lange with Detroit. Lang Lange, Langy, Langy. You're on your own here. I don't know. Lange. Alex Lingerie. Yes. With yes. the Tigers. Yep. Uh, 389 ERA, 180 batting average against. Only one home run in 34 and two thirds. Um, problem is, is he got a ton of control. He's still in pre arb. So that means another year of pre arb and then three more years of arbitration. So I think you got to give up a lot there too. Riddle me this though. I don't know why, but when I look at David Bednar, it looks like he could very much be a brave. I just look at him and I'm like, you yeah. look like a like a big country boy. Yeah, very night shift esque reliever. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we all know what he's doing. I mean, 16 saves, only one home run in 31 innings. Um, he's also under control until 2027. So, I mean, it's like these guys, if you're looking for someone to plug this hole for a long period of time, there's some names out there. Devin Williams. If the Reds continue to be what they are, Brewers continue to do what the Brewers always end up doing. Maybe they move on. Um, 17 saves for Devin Williams, a 129 batting average against. Um, he's under control until 2026. And then I was like, all right, well, all these guys under control. Maybe we go rental. Check this name out. David Robertson. The Mets are imploding. Let's, let's move on from a lot of these names. A 195 ERA, 11 saves, 206 batting average again. Man, he's so got a like, sub two. Good for him. I, yeah. So that's, that's just like a guy a, you always see floating around. I know. And that's like a that's like a budgetary thing. Like if you don't want to give up a ton and you want to still plug that hole a little bit, and a guy that doesn't have to close games, he's not such a such a control freak up in the noggin where he has to be a closer. He's cool with a seven eight uh inning roll. I mean it. I don't know. I could see that a little bit too. So yeah, overall, I mean, it's just figured we'd take a look at like why the Braves are what they are. And um, when you try to find like an Achilles heel, if there is one, I'm kind of nitpicking at the back end of the bullpen. But again, we talked about it. Like some of these guys aren't getting the amount of work that they're used to. And these games aren't as close as, as you know, sometimes closers are wanting. So it's just like, what can you do? But Braves are the real deal. Safe the other thing, the other thing to keep in mind with the Braves is like they do have, like if they didn't want to dip into the trade acquisition well uh, at the deadline, they have some arms in their system. Like that, I think that they're just hoping for a little more consistency from. Like you've got Soroka, who's been. Uh, I think he's been up and down a couple times already. Um, made a couple starts. You've got uh, <laughs> I, I call him AJ Shawshank Redemption because I can never remember what is it like Schuster. No, no, no. That's Jared Schuster. I'm talking about uh, the the Smith something Shaw. Isn't it hyphenated Sh Shawver? No, not Shawver. Why did I say Shawver? That's see. I call him Shawshank Redemption because I can't remember. But it, yeah, this is hyphenated. So they got AJ Shawshank Redemption. Yeah. Uh, they got Soroka, good they got move, Schuster. Yes, very good. But I just don't think that, that those are guys, at least right now, we still yeah. have a lot of ball left before October. Uh, but I just think that you would maybe need something a little more consistent that you can rely on from well, an I saw, standpoint. I saw, um, I think, I think Freed's on his way back. He's starting to throw again. I think I saw a note he's throwing live BP or just through live BP. So you got to assume mm, maybe another six weeks for him. You know, getting into bullpen sessions, getting into rehab starts. I'm assuming after this timeout, it's going to take him a good four rehab starts. So, yeah, maybe we're about six, seven weeks out from Freed. That's like a free agent addition right there. So... Even if you don't get what you're used to out of Freed, you still have Strider and Elder that are 
dominating. So I, I, they're going to be okay. It's just like, man, it's absurd. This team is, and I don't, I, I don't understand why we got so much hate for saying that I see them more of a World Series favorite than anyone else, including the Rays. Yeah, I mean the, the the phrase goes pitching wins championships, but I swear with that lineup, I I think the Braves can like be the exception to that rule. Yeah. Every once in a while you see that. Every once in a while you see that. They say that they said that about the NFL forever. Defense wins championships. Look what the Chiefs have been doing. Correct. So the Braves are kind of like the Chiefs. I'm just gonna pour it on you. Yeah, they said the same thing about curling too. Mm. And then Slovakia steps onto the scene. Right. <laughs> Rest was history. I know. Um, let's talk about Slovakians. Sh- yeah, like renowned curling. Is that right? Slovakians. Country. Yeah. You're talking about their people. It's possible they don't even have a curling team. It's Slovians. in fact it's, it's likely. Yeah, are they the Slavs? Is that right? Am I remembering that right? I would hate that. I think they're the Slavs. Yeah, that sounds like derogatory. What are we doing? It does a little bit. What a slav. Yeah, I don't like that. Not Maybe we have listeners over there. Less than 1%. It's, it's possible, yeah. I can Less check the data. But they're I there. Could, I could check the numbers. Uh, Shohei. Worth, worth noting because this is a guy that's worth noting every episode. And look, you probably hear me say that and you go, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's pump the brakes. Weren't you two the same guys that were saying... We need to stop talking about Shohei every every single turn of the page, every time he wipes his butt in the morning. Like Yeah. Yes, we did say that. And yeah. we're we're standing behind that. But we were just fed up with the nonsensical topics that were brought up, the the ESPN type stats where it's like yeah. nobody cares about this. Nobody would have even would have even thought about this had you not brought it up. Nobody, we don't we don't need this data. What do you want us to do with this? Right. What do you expect us to how do you expect us to process this? Yeah, we have data that we care about. What he's doing, I mean what he's been doing for a while, but especially now, is worth talking about. 31 home runs leads all of baseball. And as I mentioned before we hopped on air, it's he's got like a what? A a, a three homer gap until he gets to number two at Matt Olson. Mm-hmm. So I mean Yeah, it's three home runs. It's like relatively close, but like he's not exactly tied at the top. Shohei is single handedly leading the homers race across baseball right now. Also leads baseball in OPS at 1.060. An interesting note, which you may have gotten this in in a little bit of your research. So, what you got? Apologize if I step on your toes here. I believe Codify, shout out to Codify for this nugget. Aaron Judge's 31st home run last year came in the 89th Yankees game of the season. I don't need to remind you what Aaron Judge did last year when it came to home runs. Shohei Otani's 31st home run came in the 86th Angels game of the season. Interesting. That's interesting. That'd be so insane. Back-to-back 60 home run seasons from a guy. I mean, not from a guy, but like sure. we're getting it as as far as baseball goes. I mean, that we haven't seen that since steroids. Yeah, we're consuming so. potentially back to back. Yeah, record breaking years. Yeah, I mean, American just, League record breaking years. Sorry. Oh yeah, sorry. Excuse sorry. Me. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Uh, we're just gonna need him to slide over the NL so we can use that. Not the Mets, though. I don't want to see that. Nope. Uh, 6.7 war this year already. He has a 31.3 war in his career already. Where does that stack up? Do we have, do we have a short list of names? Uh, I didn't really look at names. You could look that up. But I mean, when you talk about guys that are getting in the hall, we're talking 70 or above OPS. I mean, OPS war. 70 or above war. So you said, what was it again? Career war? 
31.3. 31. Okay, so there he is. All right, so... For those wondering, 6.7 this year is combined. 4.2 of that is coming as a hitter. Just looking for some like names that kind of <clears throat> that kind of jump off the page. Barry Zito had a thirty one point nine. Hmm. Um. Wow! Shockingly, Steven Strasburg accumulated a thirty two point three. Hmm. Uh, let's see who else we got on here. Salvador Perez. He's got a thirty-two point eight, and we all we all know what Salvi's accomplished in his career, and he's at right. thirty-two eight. And you said Shohei is at thirty-one three. Um, right. Do they list like the hall? I thought they listed like the Hall of Famers on here. Like I thought it left an indicator. Uh. Garrett Cole, 37-1. Yeah, big names pa- like in the name. Paul O'Neill, 38-8. Aaron Judge, 39-4. Uh, He's creeping. Else? Jacob DeGrom, 44-6. He's creeping, dude. Oh, here's Sandy Koufax. Albeit. A shortened career, 48 sure. 9. Yeah. So I was right then. If you're getting in like 70 range, that's that's Hall of Fame stuff. How long has he been in the league? Four years? No, more than that. Five? Like five, possibly six. Because he had his uh his first year up was not a full year, if I recall. He had uh he had 104 games back in 18. Yeah, so 2018. Yeah, 2018. So five years, yeah. Sheesh. Oh no, that'd be that'd be six. 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022, yeah, five and change. End of five year and change, six. Yeah. yeah. Just different, dude. Just different. Um I mean, I I think we all know the hitting stuff. I wanted to look in numbers as far as like why is pitching suddenly taking off um he's got his launch angle down against hitters um 13.2 degrees typically in his career it's down to 11.2 degrees um slider percentage is is up quite a bit so he's using that more at a 37 percent clip versus 31 throughout his career pretty much cut the curveball usage in half um, down from 5.8 to 2.6%. Same thing with the splitter. Gotten rid of that mostly. Um, 13% typically was using that. Now it's down to 6.4%. And his overall batting average against typically 2.12 in his career. It's down to 179 this year. So just minor adjustments to continue to... Like, how does this guy get better? It's insane. It's insane. So to be able to look at someone and say, you have all the makings. We just need to make slight adjustments. And, you know, I mean, he's running away with the AL MVP. It's June, July, July 3rd. Dang, boy. Dang. So do it up, Shohei. Do it up. It's fun to watch. Like Kobe said in his commercial, same animal, but a different beast. True. What does that mean, Kobe Bryant? Um, I, Runaway AL MVP, as you're saying. I mean, it's who who is even in like who I, I'm genuinely curious. I don't even know like. Like who Vegas I, has. I don't even next know. In line. I don't even know. I mean. Just looking at numbers wise, Corey Seager, yeah. Which that's wild because how much time did he miss? He missed a lot. He's he's been hot. 
since no, he I came mean, back. But absolutely, he, but he missed still. like three weeks at least. Wander Franco's up there. Yeah, like Luis Robert. All great, all great years for sure. Bo Bichette, Marcus Semien, Randy Rosarena. I don't know why Vladdy's as high as he is on the list. Yandy. Good for Yandy. All great years, but not even close. This is legitimately the first time I've looked at the actual list because I've had no reason to up until this point. Yeah. Because of how good Shohei is. Um... Speaking of being good, do you want to? Do you got any more numbers you want to talk through, or do you want to run through this All Star stuff real quick? Let's do it. So the All Star rosters were announced. So I correct me if I'm wrong here, but we do have all like everything's kind of covered now, right? Everything's set. Starters have been named, correct? Mm -hmm. Um, you'll have to forgive me, folks listening at home. It was been a it was a busy weekend. With the pup, I was I was a little, a little checked out in terms of the uh, roster announcement. I did see, which we'll run through here in just a minute. I did see that uh, the home run derby field is piling up, and we're yeah. just about there, minus maybe one spot. That's uh, getting at this, sweet at this point in time. But um, a guy I just mentioned a possible snub. Some would say a likely snub. Uh, Wander Franco. I don't understand what's going on there. It's because of pull up, pull up, pull up the numbers for me. Oh, Wander Franco. So Bo got the, Bo got the starting nod for the American league. Correct. I think so. Thanks a lot. Canada. Sorry. Yeah, speaking of which, can you new one was coming, right? The uh the the wildfires are back. Or they were back at least last week. Wander's hitting 283. 90 hits on the year. Yeah, I mean, if we're talking about a snub, we are we talking stolen about stolen bases. Are we talking about as a reserve because he's not better than Boba Shett this year, so and just for the record, yes, plus I'm not saying he's he's a snub per se. This is just a name that I've come across on more than one occasion. Yeah, I don't know if I'd call him a snub. Are there any other shortstops on the team? Um, I don't really, to be completely honest, to be totally transparent, I'm not totally sure how the reserve stuff works. I know that it it's based off of injury, but like, is it just vote getters? Do managers step in and start selecting guys? Uh, Do we have an all-star GM? That would be pretty cool, actually. Light bulb. All star GMs. Explain. Sorry, I'm looking up the. Then you some names. Vote and then you draft, and the GMs get to draft. I'm just thinking you, this. You mean like, kind of like they do at the NBA All Star Game? Yeah, but instead of players, it's like a GM. You know oh, I mean? like Some an that, actual like, you're like like you actually choose ah. like the all star GM for the AL, the all star GM for nice. the NL like based that. on yeah. like you know the first half performance of the team. That'd be kind of cool, right? Or like last potentially... year's World Series GMs. Yeah, that'd be better. I was gonna Probably say you, better. You might cross some lines of like tampering yeah. at that point. <laughs> you got yeah, like GMs having some little. Yeah. One off conversations with guys. But you still like vote your guys in. And sure. And they draft, but then they fill out the I don't know. It could be cool. I I mean, I think we're getting to the point where the All Star game's gonna be shaken up pretty good if if the AL and NL start to dissolve slightly, which it's coming. Um, 
running through the reserves real quick because this is actually helpful for myself because I wasn't up to date with some of the reserves. For the American League, you've got Sal Perez behind the plate, Adley Rutschman, Vladdy Jr., Whit Merrifield, Bo Bichette, Jose Ramirez as reserves. No. Huh? Why does it say... Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Corey, Se- yeah, because Corey Seager's, Seager's starting short. Yeah, yeah. It's all uh, Texas. That's right. That's right. That's right. Cool. Yeah. So the infield reserves you got Vladdy Jr., Boba Shett, Jose Ramirez. Um, outfield you got Luis Robert, Austin Hayes, Jordan, and Adolis Garcia. And the DH you got Brent Rooker. Uh, the NL reserves you've got Will Smith behind the plate. Is it Eli- Elias Diaz? Elias. 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 Mm-hmm. Diaz. Matt Ol- How is... I... <laughs> I know we just had this, this conversation about Matt Olson and Freddie Freeman, but, like, can we, like, change the name? Can we have, like, starters but have, like, more of a... Can we have like a starting bench and then have reserves? Uh, can we have like right. a middle ground? Because yeah. seeing Matt Olson under reserves, and again, I know we just had this conversation. It just doesn't sit right with me. Uh, Ozzy Albies, Austin Riley. You got essentially the entire Braves infield at the All-Star game. Yeah, and I think mm, there's got to be... Who's an NL third baseman? Because I don't think Riley is doing all-star type stuff. Can you think of any names? Uh, I mean, Cabrian Hayes isn't doing much. Offensively, at least. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah, I can't think of anything. Filling out the uh, infield reserves, Dantry Swanson, Pete Alonso. Outfield, you got Lourdes Gurriel Jr., Nick Cassianos, Juan Soto. And at the DH position, you got Jorge Soler. Love it. Cassianos. Said it last week, too. Yeah, what a bounce back for old Cassianos. I like it. Love to see that for him. And how, how I'll good say, do you I'll think say, his son is going to be? What? When he's when he's old enough, how good do you think his son's going to be? Probably pretty solid. I'll say it once more. I know we rag rag on fans who vote for the All Star Game and how a lot of times their approach is flawed in terms of who they're voting for to be represented in this game. But I just want to applaud baseball fans for correctly voting in J.D. Martinez for the National League DH. Hmm. As much as I love to see my guy Bryce, uh, I think you think you made the right call with that one. Um, yeah, Machado, talking about, back to the NL third baseman. Machado's not doing oh, better yeah, than Machado Austin Riley. Max, struggling. Max Muncy's hitting 189, although it does have more home runs than RBIs. Candelario could probably be in that conversation. Some yeah. would argue JD Davis. An 817 OPS for JD Davis. What's what's Candelario's numbers? 11 jacks, 39 ribs, 814 OPS. I th- yeah, I think maybe I mean maybe Riley's just been hot the last couple of weeks. I thought he was doing a little lesser. He doing his thing. Well, it helps plan for the Braves because the Braves are a fan right. base that are going to, they're like the Blue Jays, they're a fan base that's going to show up when it comes time for, mm-hmm. for voting, regardless how their guys are doing because their team, their fans love their team. So not to take anything away from Austin Riley, just saying it, it certainly gives you a little added boost. Uh, talking about home runs though. This home run derby field, as I mentioned, just about full. You got the two-time champ, Pete Alonzo. You got Mookie Betts. Who? Peter Alonzo. Stop doing that. Never. 
Peter, that can just be your thing. I, you, do you expect me to remember that? Like I episodes sure down do. the road, it's that's a I tall will order. Do it that's a tall ask. I die until this man is out of the league or I'm dead. Peter Based on the Alonso. ear hair coming in, I think I'm going to be the one that expires first. You're right around the corner. <laughs> Peter Alonzo, Mookie Betts, J. Rod, Randy Arozarena, Vladdy Jr., Juan Soto, and I think you said just shortly before we hopped on, Adley Rutschman is now. What a crew. I love this crew. This is Does this Adley is get strong. tired and switch sides? That would be neat. That would be neat. Quite neat. Rather neat. Yes. Where's it at? Oh, Seattle, Seven. dude. This is going to be oh, a what show. This is going to be a show. Oh, man. We're going to see balls leaving the ballpark. I'm going to, I hope Major League Baseball does the right thing and just juices the ever living snot out of these baseballs. Yeah. Yeah. Get those kids off the field. It, it <laughs> Honestly, it gives me anxiety every year. Get like, get them off the field, max out these baseballs, <laughs> and just put on a show. Like yeah. it's it, it's the definition. Like All Star Game and the Home Run Derby, definitions of exhibitions. Like, do you want to? Do you want to go? Do you want to go up there and then just like stand behind the stadium like we did at Fenway? Because we're going to have some balls going out. <laughs> and just wait. <laughs> fly all the way out, out there, there. Fly all the way out there. Get get lodging accommodations. Pay yeah. buku bucks for food just to stay out, stand outside. Just bring a cooler. Sit out there with some lawn chairs. There you go. It'll be, like the, it'll be like the pavement version of, of, uh, of uh, the, the freaking bay out there in... San oh yeah. yeah yeah like the kayaks and stuff they're just out there in the Power kayaks boards. nate and i are just sitting on the cooler just that sounds waiting sweet for, waiting for it to come in who do we want this last one to be to fill the last spot because we got seven i'm sure the announcement's coming like today honestly probably i know who you want no i said who a name that was servicing a lot yeah la de la cruz not necessarily who i want but i would absolutely not be opposed to that i think that would be you want to talk about electric putting on a show Hmm. i can't remember did we have we talked about have we gotten to the bottom of this does it have to be does it it have have to be be four and four league and league I don't I can't remember. know. I don't remember either. I don't think that. I don't think so. No. Okay. I don't think so. Well, then that opens it up for. Because right who's, now, who's daddy hacking? Give me. Um, what about Adolis Garcia? Although if yeah. you're a ranger, you're like, I don't want to mess with this too much. Well, I mean, we talked about it. You. you You've seen what this can do for certain guys, and it doesn't. People rag on the home run derby, being like, "Oh, it messes you up for the second half." That's not the case for every player in the league. No, some guys different. Some guys need this reset where they can just forget about mechanics and just let their instincts take over. Like, yeah, that's a serious conversation that's taking place in baseball. Not a lot of people like understand that 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 yeah. that's something that some of these guys are considering when deciding on whether or not they want to take part. Um, Is I don't know. Tatis I think it's a boring name, not boring, but like, no, an easy uh, name to throw out there. I, th- I think it would be great, but I think you would take away from the event a little bit because it's, it's hard to boo somebody for a home run derby, mm-hmm. but he's going to get, he would get booed, which would have to be like the first time in a long time since right. something like that would have happened. Right. Uh, but you mentioned Garcia. I think he would, I mean, he would plant some balls out on the street for sure. But I think a guy like Ellie De La Cruz bring, would 
Possibly. Dude, I, I Ellie would. It, Ellie's definitely the dream choice. I mean, that's an electric factor. Or we just go to the opposite end of the spectrum. Do you remember when um, they brought Brandon Inge when he was a tiger? And I don't think he hit any. No, he certainly you remember didn't. that. Yes, that was. Give me Luis Arias. <laughs> 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 the opposite end of the spectrum. Let me see what you got, pal. That'll tell us if the balls are juiced or not. If he pops out 14 or something like that. Like, All right. Remind me, Jordan is still out, correct? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I know. I know. Yo, Devers, Devers can put a charge into a freaking baseball. For sure. Has Ra- he been in Acuna, one before? I don't believe so. Hmm. I don't believe so. Acuna said he's out. He already announced he's not doing it. Lame. <laughs> Be better. Yeah. Set aside your your hopes and ambitions for a World Series title and give the people what they want. Agreed. Give the people a show. Being selfish, Ronald. I mean, does Kyle Schwarber just come out and say, "Let's run it back"? I, I he's kind of that guy. I feel that like that could happen. Like he probably woke up this morning. Slammed, slammed a couple beers together and chugged them while he's still in bed. Throws on his slippers and he's like, you know what? I'll run it back. I just need no. I just need Peter to lose. I don't care who wins this. I just need him to lose. First round exit, preferably. And if I see one more deadlift from that idiot... Oh, you know the cornball that he is. He's going to like lean into that and make it like a spectacle. He's probably going to go in there and be like, all right, now this year I'm going to (laughs) bench. This year I'm going to bring in the, what is that? The erg machine and do rows. I'm going to do, I'm going to do rows. Like I'm on the high school crew team. That, that would be something that he would do. I hate him so much. It's a nerd. Why is he back? Oh way! Stop coming. You heard this. it. We ju- we talked about it this episode. That's all he cares about is the home run derby. That's all he cares about. Just go away. And humping inanimate objects. I I still don't understand that fetish. That was throw it again. He's got a weird obsession with nylon fencing. I don't get it. Uh, that's about all I got. Um, uh, covered a lot. Mm-hmm. Closing the book here, Rangers trade for Rollis Chapman. Your thoughts? Royals, you signed him for a reason to get pieces back, and you didn't really get anything back. So you had all the leverage, and you could have waited longer until the deadline until you got better prospects back. So Royals, once again, drop the ball. Well well said. Uh, you know the deal. Use our promo code 30 take at SeatGeek. Take $20 off. That's our social handle, 3 take. That's our promo code. Uh, and we already told you about Manscaped. So happy Monday, folks. Let's have a great week. Have a great fourth. Yeah, happy birthday, America. Let's go. Let's go. You got any plans? Do anything fun? How many hot dogs are you going to eat tomorrow? Just kind of laying low with the a dog. Not, yeah, a dog, not not hot dogs. I don't know. We'll see. Don't eat that dog. Yeah. Yeah. We'll not eat that dog. Um, I will probably, if if we get the invite from the parents, might have, they may have some hot dogs waiting for us. But no real plans. Just kind of laying low, celebrating greatest country on earth. That's all. Fireworks. Well, I actually worked an event on Saturday for my work, and they, they put on a, a great show. Oh. So I, I at least got my dose in. If I'm not able to get to them, like with the, with the puppy and everything, I at least... Mm-hmm check that box so yeah how about you got anything going on probably head out to the lake love it it's always a good time always a good time yeah cut the sleeves off let the flags fly have 47 hot dogs that's it love it america that's all i got three in bed by eight. You know the rules. There, there you go. <laughs> we uh, will see you guys uh, later this week. Don't go chase a curveball.
Charles. We love you all and as always looking forward to talking more baseball with you guys soon. Until next time, stay filthy.